world. Yes! Can you turn the lights back on, please? Oh, my God. We're trying to determine whether we have to terminate this officer. As you can hear, the officer, while struggling with Mr. Wright, shouts, Taser, Taser, several times. That is part of the officer's training prior to deploying a Taser, which is a less lethal device. That is done to make her partners aware, as well as the subject, that a Taser deployment will be imminent. During this encounter, however, the officer drew their handgun instead of their taser. For informational purposes, we train with our handguns on our dominant side and our taser on our weak side. So if you're right-handed, you carry your firearm on your right side and you carry your taser on the left. This is done purposefully and is trained. As I watch the video and listen to the officer's commands, it is my belief that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. This appears to me, from what I viewed and the officer's reaction and distress immediately after, that this was an accidental discharge that resulted in the tragic death of Mr. Wright. I have asked the BCA to conduct an independent investigation into the shooting and death. Once they are completed, I expect they will submit their findings, independent of me, to the appropriate authorities, the appropriate attorneys that will, that will look and review this case. I'm also stressing that I do hope for the community to be patient and allow this investigation, criminal investigation, to be completed as thoroughly as possible. I believe Mr. Wright deserves this, as do all involved. The officer is currently on administrative leave. Make a short comment about what happened last night to our community a community that I've been a part of for 27 years. I've seen some of the, the worst damage to this city I've ever seen in those years.